So it disconnected me again. Same as um, last week. Bear with me. It's telling me my internet connection's unstable. That's why. My mother's message to say she's not. Yeah, everyone is frozen on my screen as well. Sorry, everyone, it keeps kicking me off at the moment, but I will get there. We'll get there. Yeah, everyone is frozen on my screen as well. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, just having a couple of technical difficulties, but I will be with you all shortly. Those of you who are on Zoom, you are completely frozen on my screen. So I'll just crack on. Um, and if it's, yeah, I'll just crack on. And if it means I can't come to you for the answers, then then, then so be it. But we'll see, we'll see how we get on. Um, Paul, I'm sure you can let me know if, um, just drop me a message if you can't hear me. That'd be great. Just bear with me. Not quite sure how um, one of the rounds I've got planned today is going to work, but we'll see. Yes, yes, I know, my internet connection is uh, unstable. <laughs> now it's not letting me share my screen. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh dear. Here we go. Doesn't matter if uh, we start a minute or so late. Okay, I'm gonna get started. So we'll just see how it goes. Okay, evening everybody. Um, and welcome to uh, the Quiz Wizards Lockdown Quiz. It's uh, the second quiz of lockdown number two. And I'm Simon, your quiz master tonight. So yeah, I will be here every Thursday during lockdown at 8.30 p.m. to give you some quiz action. So welcome to those of you who are taking part on Zoom and on YouTube. 
if you are taking part on YouTube, remember you can subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group and you can uh, tweet me at uh, my handle, the underscore quiz underscore wizard. And if you look at the banner on my channel, you should be able to find the little icons there that you can click that will take you to each of those three things. Remember, we've got lots of um, different types of quizzes on my channel. So um, I was doing a Monday night quiz when real world was OK. Um, also got lots of mini quizzes, which I'll start to upload again during lockdown and um, something for the weekend quiz. So there's a few of those for you to try that, that were coming out on a Friday. So remember to subscribe to the channel. Um, no new countries this week taking part, but I have had a few more um, people taking part from the USA. So people from across the pond probably wanted to take their mind off a few things over the past week or two. Um, so let's get started with the quiz. How does the pub quiz work? Well, there are six rounds with eight questions in each round, um, all on various topics. You can play at home on your own. You can play with, 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 with your partners. You can play with your families. It's just completely for fun. And um, yeah, just something to do on a Thursday night whilst you can't go and do anything else. So what are tonight's rounds? Well, hopefully they'll all go according to plan. Round one is general knowledge. Round two is a family fortunes round. So in that round, you will get a family fortunes or a family feud style question. And you need to try and guess what my top answer is. So I've got four possible answers, eight questions. That means you could get 32 points in that round. Round three is a picture round and it's cartoon characters. Simply name the cartoon character. Now round four is supposed to be music intros. So um, we'll just have to see how that goes. You're gonna get a really short clip, and I mean really short clip of an introduction to a music song. You need to tell me who sings the song and the name of the song. Um, we'll have to see how that one goes based on the old internet connectivity. If I can't do it tonight, I'll save it for next week. Round five is a connections round answer questions one to eight as usual and um, then the answers are connected in some way it's not as tough as last week's one so don't worry about that and then we have one final picture round celebrity smiles eight pictures of celebrities faces well just their mouths tell me who they are simple as that okay right We've had <clears throat> enough drama today with Strictly, uh, with with uh, yeah, Catcher and uh, Nicola being kicked off Strictly. So let's get back to a little bit of normality with a quiz tonight, which is general knowledge round one. Here we go. What number is written as XC in Roman numerals? So question one, what number is written as XC in Roman numerals? Question two. Which French wine growing region is also a deep red colour? So that's which French wine growing region is also a deep red colour? Question number three. Which band had a hit in the mid 1980s with the hit Take On Me?
Which band had a hit in the mid 1980s with the hit Take On Me? Number four. What type of creature is a painted lady? Tricky one, that, I think. Unless you're a David Attenborough fan. Or... What type of creature is a painted lady? I'm saying that. I am a David Attenborough fan and I didn't know that. Question five. The goat represents which star sign? The goat represents which star sign? Question number six. What is the family name of Juliet in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? <laughs> what is the family name of Juliet in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? Question seven. Bob was a slang term for which pre-decimal coin? Bob was a slang term for which pre-decimal coin? And here comes your last question for round one in general knowledge. Number eight. What is the name of the home stadium of Rangers Football Club? What is the name of the home stadium of Rangers Football Club? Long way as the crow flies. OK, I'll quickly recap those eight for you. So number one was what number is written as XC in Roman numerals? Number two, which French wine growing region is also a deep red colour? Number three, which band had a hit in the mid 1980s with the hit Take On Me? Number four, what type of creature is a painted lady? Number five, the goat represents which star sign? Number six, what is the family name of Juliet in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? Number seven, Bob was a slang term for which pre-decimal coin? And number eight, what is the name of the home stadium of Rangers Football Club? Okay, so our second round tonight is family fortunes. I do enjoy this round. <clears throat> so yeah, as I said, you will get um, family family fortunes or family feud style questions. And um, with whoever you're playing with, I suggest you have a discussion as to what you think. Most people out of the 100 people that I surveyed said um, some techniques for this. I know that some teams just... Um, go with whoever shouts the loudest but other teams also get they all write down their own personal answers and then show and they go with the majority but it doesn't really work when everyone puts something different so there'll be different techniques for each of you 
But you'll get the idea after the first question. You'll get one point, two points, three points, or four points if you get my top answer. Okay, so here's your first family fortunes question. Number one, name a place where talking gets you a dirty look. So name a place where talking might get you a dirty look. Get a little bit of a discussion going with your team members. Number two then in Family Fortunes. Name something you would buy for a grandfather at Christmas. Name something you would buy for a grandfather at Christmas. It's a family quiz. Question number three. Name something that is no good when it is lumpy. Name something that is no good when it is lumpy. You get the idea now. Wonder whether there's any rows happening. Number four, name something that when broken is hard to mend. Name something that when broken is hard to mend. Question number five. Name something that is thrown at a wedding. Name something that is thrown at a wedding. Number six. Oh, this could, this this got loads of possibilities. Name a famous cartoon character. But who would the majority of people said would have been the most popular famous cartoon character? Lots to choose from. Number seven, name a national park in the UK. Name a national park in the UK. And number eight, Last one, name a country starting with the letter A. Name a country starting with the letter A. So I'll go through each of those just once more for you if you're still Undecided. Number one was name a place where talking gets you a dirty look. Number two, name something you would buy for a grandfather at Christmas. Number three, name something that is no good when it is lumpy. Number four, 
Name something that when broken is hard to mend. Number five, name something that is thrown at a wedding. Question six, name a famous cartoon character. Number seven, name a national park in the UK. And number eight, name a country starting with the letter A. OK, we've got one more round before we get some answers for rounds one, two and three. Uh, your round three today is a pitch around cartoon characters. So um, I'll show you each of them and then I'll give you a couple of minutes to name the character. So here we go. Number one. Number two. Three. Cartoon character four. Number five. Six, seven, and number eight. Okay, so welcome to everyone that's taking part tonight on Zoom. Um, I'll be with you shortly. We'll try and see if um, the connection's living up to uh, being able to come to speak to you one to one to answer some questions. And welcome to everybody who's taking part on YouTube tonight. I've uh, got nearly 30 of you on there, which is good. Great to have you all playing. Let's see who we've got. So, ah, NEM. Yes, Channel NEM. So, yeah, I know you were a bit gutted up missing it last week, but it's good to have you back this week. And uh, hope you've managed to get your five-year-old to bed now. Ren, I managed to get Ren to bed just before, so that's good. Harry as well. Hi, se second week, two weeks running. There you go. That connections round couldn't have been too bad last week. You've come back. We've obviously got Paul as well, just waiting for the jokes to start. I'm sure he'll get, I'm sure he's working on a couple. Always brighten up my quiz night. I know we've got a few, reg, well, a lot of regulars playing with us on Zoom tonight as well. Why did Mickey Mouse get hit with a snowball? Because Donald ducked. There we go. It's easing us in, easing us in. So remember, if you are watching on YouTube and you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do by clicking that button. And also, if you um, like the quiz, give it a thumbs up. And before you leave, remember to leave a comment for me as well about how you got on, where you're taking part from. have a look at these again a couple of straightforward ones and a couple of trickier ones as well Give you another um, minute or so on these. Ah, Harry, even if you're a little bit young, I reckon there's still a few of these you'd be able to get. Surely, definitely two, three, and four. And seven. Come on. OK, so I'm going to try and come to those people taking part on Zoom. If it doesn't work, then um, I'll come back. Let's see, remember everyone, I'll know straight away because you'll either be um, frozen or you'll be moving on my screen. If you're moving, you'll be um, waving now. So. Uh, looks very frozen to me. I don't think that's going to work.
Oh, I can see you. All, <laughs> I can see you all waving via my iPad. I can see you all waving, but on my computer, I can't see. Um, can't see a thing. Oh dear. So I think what I'll do is. Um, I will just read through. I will just read through the answers, just in the interest of uh, actually trying to get through. <laughs> so, round one was general knowledge. So the number written as X C in Roman numerals is ninety nine zero. Number two, the French wine growing region, also a deep red colour, is Burgundy. <clears throat> and this one gives me the best chance to do my uh, finest Alan Partridge impression. Which band had a hit in the mid 1980s with the hit Take On Me? Uh -huh. Number four, a painted lady is a butterfly. Butterfly. Number five, the goat represents the star sign Capricorn. I am a Capricorn, yes, that is me. Number six, what is the family name of Juliet in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? That's Capulet. Capulet. Bob was a slang term for the pre-decimal coin, the shilling. And the home stadium of Rangers Football Club is Ibrox, the Ibrox Stadium. OK. So um, I'm not going to be able to come to you to find out what you put as your top answers, but maybe you could type them in. Um, <clears throat> so name something uh, somewhere where talking gets you a dirty look. So you get one point for classroom, two points for a funeral, three points for the movies and four points for in the library. Number two, name something you get a grandfather for Christmas. Number one, a book. Number, um, sorry, one point for book. Two points for chocolates. Three points for slippers. And four points for socks. Number three, name something that is no good when lumpy. One point for porridge. Two points for... <laughs> Lumpy milk, three points, gravy, and four points, custard. Number four, name something that is hard to mend when broken. One point, a leg. Two points for a vase or a vase, however you want to say it. Three points for glass. And four points for a broken heart. Number five, name something that is thrown at a wedding. One point for rice, two points for flowers, three points for confetti, and four points for a um, bouquet, not bucket. Number six, name a cartoon character. This one's going to throw the, throw the cat amongst the pigeons, that's for sure. Um, one point for Mickey Mouse, two points for Scooby-Doo. Three points for Bugs Bunny. And the top answer was Homer Simpson. Four points for Homer Simpson. Number seven, name a um, national park in the UK. One point for the New Forest. Two points for the Brecon Beacons. Three points for the Lake District and four points for Snowdonia. And then the last one was, name a country starting with the letter A, one point for Albania, two points for Argentina, three points for Austria, and four points for 
Australia, mate. Okay, and then our third round was cartoon characters. So, number one is She-Ra. Number two, Eric Cartman from South Park. Number three is from Scooby-Doo, it's Velma, Velma Dinkley. Velma's all right. Number four, Beavis. <laughs> yeah, score. <laughs> from Beavis and Butthead, that's my best impression. Number five, Charlie Brown. Number six from Thundercats, it's lion -O. Number seven is Dorbert the Explorer. And number eight is Elmer Fudd. So they are your answers for rounds one, two, and three. And we're going to have a two minute interval where you can go and get yourselves a drink, do whatever else you need to in two minutes time. And then we'll restart. And I'm going to try to do the um, music round. Um, Paul, if you can uh, message me to let me know if it's going all right and if it's really not, then I'll knock it on the head. Okay. Uh, remember to put down how many you scored for the first part. And um, I'll be with you in one moment. Right, so we've got some scores coming through. Well, okay, so my family are doing uh, doing all right. Paul, 25. Harry, 36. That's not bad. That's good. Karen, there you are. Good evening, Karen. 32. I know, no lumpy beds. I know. Yeah. I know, I would have said that. 34 for my parents. 34 for Laura, one of my sisters. 47 out of 48. For uh, Catherine, Tim and Maddie. There we go. Maddie's the secret weapon. That's what it is. Oh, something's just gone funny on my Zoom. <laughs> okay. Natalie, 35, is that the is that the Millway Ensemble? <laughs> okay, I'm going to try <clears throat> and continue with round four, which is the music intros. Oh, let's just see what else we've got. Sorry, other scores that we've got before I do that. We've got, um, well, okay. We've got a 35 from the Gooners, 39 from the Southerners. We've got 40 from Sarah, 35 from Bobbis, 38 for the Bonds, 35 to Trish. Yeah, you're a family fortunes man. 46, Malcolm and Ange, there we go. 38 for Dies Guys. Oh, what? yeah, no, guys. 45, all 45 for Malcolm and Ange. 41s, 42. He's got some high scores, lots of 41s as well. Good stuff. Right, let's see how we um, see how we get on with this. Um, I've got Paul on. Uh, 
and back up to tell them how it's working. So this round, <clears throat> music intros, you are just going to get literally up to two seconds of a music intro. So you need to listen carefully. I will play each one twice or try to, and then I'll play them all the way through once more. OK, it's very quick. You get half a point for naming the band or artist and half a point for the song. It's very fast. So here we go. Here comes question number one. I don't think it's going to work because that was question one there. I'll try it again. Right, I'll try it once more. It's not working on my computer. I don't know if it's working for you guys. No. No. <laughs> Sing it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try once more. I'm going to try. Then it doesn't. Last chance. We'll give it a go. Thank you for being patient with me, those of you that are taking part. I'm just trying, I've just closed the file, I'm trying to open it up again. I don't think it's going to. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm getting any up with the music. No, OK, I'm going to have to knock that round on the head, everyone. I'll try it again next week. I think I might be getting an upgrade on my broadband anytime soon. So we'll, we'll leave that round and I'll get back to it. So you can't name the artist and the song title from the short clip given. Never mind. Let's move on to round five. Sorry about that, everyone. So round five is the connections round. Um, so what you need to do is answer questions one to eight as normal. And then the answers are linked in some way. OK, it's not as tough as last week's one, so don't worry. So here comes question number one. What was advertised with the slogan loves the jobs you hate? I will save that music round for next week. So what was advertised with the slogan, loves the jobs you hate? Question number two, which piece of sports kit was made compulsory to wear by FIFA in 1990? Which piece of sports kit was made compulsory to wear by FIFA in 1990. Question number three. In which 1975 film did Richard Dreyfuss play a marine biologist called Matt Hooper? So in which 1975 film did Richard Dreyfuss play a marine biologist called Matt Hooper? Question number four, who won best British group 
at the 2009 Brit Awards. I think this one might be a bit easier if you can guess what the connection is. Who won Best British Group at the 2009 Brit Awards? Number five, which island did King Kong come from? Which island did King Kong come from? Number six, what term describes half of the diameter of a circle? What term describes half of the diameter of a circle? Number seven, in rugby union, what position does the number 15 play? In rugby union, what position does the number 15 play? And number eight, again, if you've got the, uh, if you've got the connection, you might have a chance to guess. What is the currency of Costa Rica and El Salvador? What is the currency of Costa Rica and El Salvador? Right. I'm going to try something drastic here, everyone. I'm going to try and get you this music round through Paul. <laughs> right. Paul, can you unmute yourself? Hello, I am unmuted. This is your moment, Paul. You can save the quiz. <laughs> right. If it works. It's not letting me share it. Can moment. you let me share it, Simon? You mean the quiz wizard? <laughs> uh, it's saying I can only, only the host can share. Oh, I'll make you the host. You ready? Yeah. And then, and then you have to turn me back. Yes, you're the host now. Controversial. <laughs> no, it's, it's not an option on my iPad. I, I haven't ah, got it. Okay. Hang on. Okay. No. We've tried, everyone. You have to wait till next week. He 
This is riveting viewing on YouTube, everyone. Will we be able to do it? <laughs> no, I don't think we can. Don't worry. Paul, can you, can you um, t turn me back to the host? Please. I can't share. I can't share. I, I, I don't think I've got that control, but <laughs> we can all hear you still. Oh no! Yeah, but I, I've got a picture around next. <laughs> can you not? Can you not make? Can you not? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll drop off. That should throw Go you on back in. Go on then. Oh, yay, I'm the host, right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh dear, well we tried anyway. Thank you for your patience. Anyway, I'll go through um, what those questions were again, really quickly. Number one, what was advertised with the slogan, loves the jobs you hate? <laughs> Number two, which piece of sports kit was made compulsory to wear by FIFA in 1990? Number three, in which 1975 film was Richard Dreyfus play a marine biologist called Matt Hooper? Number four, who won Best British Group at the 2009 Brit Awards? Number five, which island did King Kong come from? Number six, what term describes half of the diameter of a circle? Number seven, in rugby union, what position does the number 15 play? And... Number eight, what is the currency of Costa Rica and El Salvador? And that bonus point, what is the connection between the answers of questions one to eight? Still smiling as well. <laughs> so our last round, celebrity smiles. So you're going to see the, the mouse of eight celebrities. Simply name that celebrity. Here we go. Here are your eight pictures. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and celebrity smile number eight. <sighs> well, We tried, we tried. So, just means that next week we'll have that round as well. It just means we're playing a five, a, a five round quiz tonight. Thank you, Paul, for trying. If you're playing on, if you're playing on your computer, it would have worked, but iPads and Zoom don't do as much. So. Remember, if you're taking part on YouTube, if you have enjoyed just watching, listening, me and Paul trying to get a, a, a music round working, um, you must have had fun watching that. Give it a thumbs up. Go on, Paul. I, 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 know, I know you knew what one, of the, what one of the tracks was. No one will remember next week. You can, tell, you can tell us the joke that you'd had planned. Go on. Tell us it. Go on. I'll read it out. I'll make everyone smile, make everyone feel better. <laughs> it 
it's got to be more entertaining than watching the England game anyway. I've got no idea what the score was, but it's England versus Ireland, so I imagine it's um, nil-nil or Ireland are winning. Harry, Harry, you to take part on YouTube. How old are you then? Because it's twice, it's twice you've um, mentioned that you think you're, you're too young for some of these. So let me know. I still think one and three and five. I get number number two. I get I get that is a trickier one. I'll give you just another minute or so on these. Is it really 3 0 to England? Harry, you're 12. Jeez. <laughs> Watch what I'm saying. Dyke Hook. Okay, I'm going to go through the answers then <clears throat> to rounds five and six. So, round five was the connections round. So, what was advertised? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. I've just said the score and he's recording the football. <laughs> oh, Sorry. not my night is it <laughs> so connections what was advertised with the slogan loves the jobs you hate that was mr muscle number two what piece of sports kit was made compulsory wear by fifa in 1990 shin pads number three in which 1975 film did richard dreyfus play a marine biologist called matt hooper jaws number four who won Best British Group at the 2009 Brit Awards? If you've got the connection, you might have had more of a chance. Elbow. Number five, which island did King Kong come from? Skull Island. Number six, what term describes half the diameter of a circle? Radius. In rugby union, what position does the number 15 play? Full back. And number eight, what is the currency of Costa Rica? and El Salvador, colon. So you've got a bonus point if you put parts of the body. Muscle, shin, jaw, elbow, skull, radius, back and colon. Okay. And then the final Round was round six, celebrity smiles. So number one was David Beckham. Number two, Cliff Richard. Number three, can I get a rewind? Craig David. Number four was um, Will Young, pop idol winner. Number five was Puff Daddy, P Diddy, Sean Combs, I think, whatever you want to call him. One of those three. Number six was Drew Barrymore. Number seven, the glasses gave it away a little bit. That's Chris Evans. And number eight was Alexandra Burke. So there are your answers. If you could um, type in what your scores were, we'll see who's got a decent score tonight. Chat it here. You can type that on YouTube. Sorry, Paul. Forty-six for the Gooners. 
you're winning, you're not winning anymore. 56 for Malcolm and Ange, that's the leading score at the moment. 56, we've got 43 for the Hortons, 53 for the Bonds, 48 for Ward. That's winning. 48 is winning. 47 from Dyes, guys. 43 for the Lanyanis. 57, the Quizzy Rascals. 52, Cockadoodle 2. 61 for uh, Kate and Tim and Maddie. 61 is winning. 50 for the Southerners. 44 for Mum and Dad. 56 for Howies. I feel like Bruno Brooks. 58 for Andy Hayward. Well done, Andy. Well done, Andy. 56 for the Commitments. 49, Bob. This 57, Natalie Sharp. 56 the commitments. What have we got on YouTube? Still 25 for you. Yes, yes, Paul, I know. 41 for Channel Nem, 47 for Harry, 46 for Karen, 53 up in Uddersfield for the uh, uh, Devon Sherlock Taylor. So I think 61 was the highest score from. Catherine, Tim and Maddie. That is a formidable score this evening. I'm not going to lie. Well done. There would have been eight more up for grabs as well. So, guys, thank you for your patience tonight. I know... Um, oh, and the friend's got 58. Well done to you as well. Thank you for your patience tonight. I know... Um, I know the, pitch, the uh, music round didn't particularly work and I've had some internet issues but um yeah i will be looking to get those resolved but um yeah i hope you still enjoyed the quiz um i will make sure that that round is next week so we might have an extra round um and yeah please do check out the quiz wizard channel there's plenty of other um things available on the channel i uploaded a um rom-coms mini quiz last week and i've got a sci-fi one ready to come out as well as requested on the facebook group if you do have any other requests, please let me know. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're at a loose end whilst you're in lockdown, feel free to check out any of the quizzes on the site. Make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell and you'll um, get told when a new quiz comes live. Other than that, everybody, um, that is tonight's lockdown quiz version 2.0. I wish you all uh, a happy Happy weekend, stay safe, take care, and I look forward to seeing you here again next Thursday. Okay, thanks guys. Night night.